Hello and welcome to Michael Pepper Tech, where I don't only talk tech, but I live it. Today I have a quick kind of discussion video for you on something I ran across when setting up the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. And I imagine this would be the same for the other models in the Galaxy Book Pro series as far as kind of what Samsung said versus what actually happened when setting it up. So, imagine you're looking for a laptop and maybe you have a Samsung phone or maybe you just saw an advertisement from Samsung where they say it's as easy to use as your phone or, you know, we're trying to make this more like your phone and they show setting it up and transferring everything over and you just sign in and everything's super easy and you know they show you scanning a QR code to set it up and everything's great and so you go and you pick it up and you flip it open and first issue I had was there was no battery power no charge I had to plug it in and get it charged up for a bit before I could do anything but apart from that it's not really something we're talking about. So you plug it in because you know, and you get it set opened up and then you're going through everything and it's just prompting you to set things up like a normal Windows laptop. And you're thinking, okay, once it gets set up, I will get prompted with some more things from Samsung. Nope. Nothing. No prompts to sign in with your Samsung, you know, to say, hey, sign in with your Samsung account. Um, you know, click on another device and sync up your settings from that. Yes, there were prompts to sign. There were, you know, steps to sign into your Samsung account. And if you have stuff set up to sync, it will all sync. Your contacts will think, sync up and, you know, things like that will sync through. But it wasn't as simple as they made it appear. And they didn't prompt you for, okay, you have another Windows device. Let's sync this up through. So they're advertising what they're promoting in the event, the ads that I've seen that are making it appear kind of like when you get a new Samsung phone or a Samsung tablet where it can say, oh, you know, pick from another list of devices, we'll restore your settings from that. Or transfer, are you going to transfer from an iPhone or another Android device? None of that was there as far as what do you want to transfer from? Are you transferring anything? There wasn't any of those prompts like other Samsung devices. And part of the concern I have with that is the appearance of how they made it seem versus the reality of actually setting it up. And not everybody knowing to go in and get to the Samsung settings and make sure that the syncing is turned on and not everybody knowing that there's the your phone app if you want to have your phone connected and be able to get the messages and calls and photos syncing up and launch apps there was no prompts for any of this so if you are you know looking for an ecosystem and you're new to Samsung's ecosystem or you were using an iPhone and you're new to Android and you go, great, I'm going to pick this up because I'm going to go all in on one company because I think that from prior experience, that's going to be my best choice. You pick this thing up and there's no difference to me than if I was setting up my Razer Blade 15 and I went in and clicked on the and got everything set up, then I would have the Your Phone is app is natively on there, and I can pick what device I'm using. Am I using a Samsung Galaxy? You know, am I using an Android phone or am I using an iPhone? What am I, you know, what device am I using? And it'll prompt me through setting things up and what you can and can't access and all this stuff. None of that was different with this and it was surprising but also not surprising at the same time because 
unfortunately, I've seen this happen many times where a company says, oh, it's easy to set up and shows off these slides. But in reality, you get the product and it's not as simple as that. You got to use the right cord to transfer things over. You got to install the app on the other device and maybe there's more than one with the same name and they can make it as easy as using a QR code to scan and there's just things like this and so I just wanted to tell you what got you guys what happened and give you guys a head up, up if you are looking at this particular product and kind of what to expect if you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to be able to, you know, scan a QR code and it's going to sync up my Samsung account and it's going to sync up and, you know, prompt me to install certain apps on there and it's going to guide me through. It doesn't really do that. It guides you through the standard Samsung stuff, setting up your fingerprint scanner, but nothing beyond that. Again, my name is Michael Pepper Tech and if you found this helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this on Samsung, you know, other companies, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified about more content like this or my other videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and slide up to all so you see all the notifications. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching.